this episode, you will witness the dramatic consequences of going longer than three weeks past due for an infill appointment when having short and beaten nails. Broken nails and painfully short natural ones and weight, but that's not all. Anna's work-related accident left her with her cuticle sliced in half and a massive hangnail. But fear not, because we're about to work our magic and completely revamp her nails. First, we need to remove the old product. As far as I remember, we used Polygel to do these extensions. So I will be using Carbide Beat with Blue Abrasive Mark. The speed is 25,000 rotations per minute. And I'm working extra carefully with this pinky nail because we have damaged cuticles here. Anna broke a few nails, but some nails were not broken, such as this one and those that were protected by the product, you can see that the nail bed on these nails is definitely longer. So everyone who was questioning, is it even possible to grow a longer nail bed if you have short beaten nails when doing extensions? Yes, if you will always keep them in a good condition and do not file them extremely short. Even on this nail that is kind of short, we still can see a little bit of the natural free edge and this is a good sign. I started working with Anna almost three years ago, and since then her nails changed a lot. Now I will remove the product and let me show you what her nails look like now. I mean, they're still kind of short, but her nail beds on all nails, maybe except for the ring finger, are so long now. It's actually quite hard to believe now that she was a nail biter. Now we need to file the free edge shorter. Wait, what? Anna's nails are so long that we need to file them shorter? Yes, we do. And we're going to do new extensions and I'm going to use forms. That's why it's important to have a nice shape of the free edge. And now I need to do prep and dry manicure. And this one is going to be tough because I'm super worried about this damaged cuticle that she has. Not only she has this cut on the top, but also this massive hangnail. So before I work with that one, I need to carefully clean the skin underneath so it will be prepped for the new extensions we're about to do. Every time Anna gets into some kind of work-related accident, by the way, she works as a chef in the kitchen and she accidentally sliced her skin in half. By the way, it happens quite often with her and every time she is sharing a story like that, it feels like she's sharing some funny story from her work and I'm always terrified. I'm like, Anna, OMG, you need to be careful, please. I used sharp manicure scissors to cut the cuticles and the hang nail. We're going to do acrylic extensions today and I decided to try a new Mexican brand called Organic Nails. I bought only the most important things we need when we're trying the product. So I have a monomer, this is a small bottle, only one ounce or 30 milliliters. And because of the transportation, it got a little sticky. And I think I can even feel the smell coming from it. Oh, well, okay, so it doesn't have a membrane. It has this plastic thing, which is actually a good thing if you're planning to transport it again, because you can reuse it unlike a regular metallic seal. It was quite a challenge to open it and now I can see that part of it is spilled but once again I guess that's what happens when you travel with the airplane and the smell is I would say like a traditional monomer. It's pretty strong but maybe it seems to me strong because I haven't used acrylic for a while. Okay, let's see the powders. I have natural cover beige and this one also has a seal okay i hope this one will not be as hard to open yeah so i assume this is going to be a light beige color and we're going to try it i decided that it's not going to be fun if we will use just a nude color and they also had a plenty of other colors i didn't find any color acrylic powders by organic nails that's why i took another one which is called fantasy nails and it also says that it's like a mexican brand so this must be some kind of pretty glitter acrylic powder there were so many of those so it was quite hard to decide so i decided to pick two with glitter from different collections la urbania and wonderland 
I also have forms because I was very curious how are they going to work. I used to have forms with a similar shape, but not exactly like this one. Plus, I personally like when forms have this dark color, such as black. This roll includes 200 pieces. Let's see how the beige color works. I am using not my favorite brush, but that's okay because we only need to see how the product works, what the color looks like, so I guess it will be enough. Okay, so let's take the bead. As I expected, the color is light beige and the consistency of the product is pretty comfortable to work with. It also seems to me that this is a slow setting product, which means it may work for beginners, but we need to try it on hands to be sure. I cannot wait to see what this glitter color is going to look like because with acrylic powders it's always a matter of surprise. They look in a certain way when you see the powder, but once you apply it, only this is the moment when you're going to see all the glitter and the colors that are included. Wow, this one is like crazy multicolor mix of foil and some fine glitter. Are you ready? Honestly, for me, it looks like there's way too many different kinds of stuff inside. Another glitter one, which looks very similar to the powder we just used. I mean, it looks similar when it's dry, but everything may change once we add some monomer. Yeah, obviously this one is also a mix of so many different colors. And I wonder why they add the same type of like small fine black glitter. Maybe the glitter is fine, but the color in between looks so grayish. So in my opinion, maybe you should find a way on how to use it. But as a solid color, to me, it doesn't look as good. Before we proceed to nail extensions, first we need to apply prep products, dehydrator and acid primer. We figured that it works best for Anna, especially when doing acrylic extensions. Let dry and now let's do extensions. I fit the form and first I'm going to build the free edge. We decided to do Anna's favorite shape, which is square. And since her nails are slightly longer now, we can even do longer nails, but still we're not going to go extreme, of course. This product seems to be quite fast setting, which means if you already have experience in acrylic, I think you will like it because when you have experience, you know what to do and how to apply acrylic. You definitely want it to work faster. But if you are a beginner, it is going to be a little hard for you. I am a little surprised about the color of this acrylic because it comes in a cover series. And yes, it covers very well, but the color is so light. I mean, Anna's skin tone is quite light. She's a white skinned person but this color looks to me more like a very light beige, very close to white color. So to me, it doesn't look like a natural nude color. I mean, the color your nails could potentially have without any enhancement on. But on the other hand, I didn't really do any research on this brand. I mean, I didn't look at their swatches. I didn't look for a review. So I just picked the color that I thought is going to look nude. I personally like that it is fast setting because for me it means that I will finish my work faster. Then we take off the form and slightly pinch the nail. I tried swatching glitter colors and honestly we didn't really like how they're going to match with this color. So instead we decided to do one nail using clear acrylic and add some colorful flakes that I already have. Working with clear acrylic is a bit more tricky because you cannot really see it on the form. So you need to work really closely. But once acrylic starts to set, it will be matte and you will be able to see it. If you are using loose glitter or flakes, do not forget to pick them up with acrylic. So I usually take a small bead of clear acrylic and then I put it in the jar with the glitter. So I'm going to apply some on top of her nail to make sure that we are going to conceal the free edge of her nail. 
Then we thought that this nail is going to look so transparent and it's better to add a little bit of color. So to make this nail more matchy with the rest of her nails, I'm going to use the same acrylic powder we used for another nails and add some and then blend it to create some kind of marble. And it worked very well. So I have to say the pigment in this powder is great. It is going to cover the nails even if you apply a thin layer. Then we're going to encapsulate design with a clear acrylic. And keep in mind, it doesn't matter what kind of design do you want to do, whether you use glitter or anything else inside of the nail, you always need to follow the basic rules of the structure of the nail. Do not forget about the sidewalls and the apex. So always check it from different views to make sure it's all good. Then I take off the form, slightly pinch the nail, and it's time to file and shape the nails. This product is quite hard to file. I mean, acrylic in general is harder to filing compared to hard gel or poly gel, so this is normal, but I have to say that this particular brand feels so hard. So it's better if you use 180 or even 150 grit file, or even better if you apply it in such way that you will not really need to file much. So mostly I filed the sidewalls, the free edge, and a little bit of the surface. When I started sealing the nails with a glossy top coat, I noticed some weird thing. These nails, this color, it looks a little different from the swatch that I did. On the swatch, it's more like beige, and on the nails, it's more white. So it looks like the color changes if you file it on top. I also don't really like this visible clear line that we have near the cuticles, but it was necessary for her nails to make it super thin. Let me guys know what do you think? Have you ever tried organic nails brand?